However you guys pronounce it. Let's dive right into this titan and waste no time whatsoever. Now Methuselah is found in Munich, Germany. And it was under the allegiance of King Ghidorah, yours truly. Before Godzilla wind up kicking my butt. Uh, I told you guys, Amped. Amped Godzilla. Pretty much beat me. Gonna beat me normally. You jerk. Jeez, always had to get... Your mother, shoot, I technically won that one-on-one -on -one confrontation. I don't care what y'all say in the comment section. I won that fight. First appearance, obviously, in the Monsterverse, which means this kaiju, this myth, this legend, this biblical Christian legend is here in American films today. Now, that is a big step. God bless America. Also, happy 4th of July, for those of you who did not... For those of you, I did not make a video that day. I was spending time with the family at the waterfront, chilling, just killing it. So let's talk about the design first, though. Very little seen of Methuzilla on screen, and the creature appears to be quadrupedal. It's a mammalian face, possessing horns like a bull, which, as you can see by this picture, is pretty accurate. Kind of, I kind of, kind of like, it's like that bull from uh, Star Wars that... That creature from Star Wars, you know, in the pit, and he tames that rhino-looking creature. It kind of looks like that. Uh, well, the positioning of the horns, I mean. I mean, this is, these are obviously massive bigger. It has white pupils and are very glossy and clouded over. But its most noble physical trait is that it has a gigantic mountain on its back. Which is why Methuselah is called the Mountain Kaiju, or the Mountain Titan. Let's talk about the origins on the Monarch page. Methuselah was discovered by Monarch near Munich, Germany in Outpost 67. So, Outpost 67, Munich, Germany, is the resting place, or the, well, I can't make it sound like that, the hibernation place, the hibernation place of Methuselah. See, I can't say resting place because it sounds like it's dead. Oh, uh, no, nah, you, if you kill a kaiju that big, you must be somebody like over the top. You gotta be a boss, okay? An uh, absolute boss. Alright? So, Apple 67 was co was constructed around him, covered by a forest. He simply appeared to be a mountain in his dormant state. In Godzilla King and the Monsters, however, the official movie novelization, a German, a German man relates to his girlfriend, a legend from the Middle Ages, just before Methuselah awakens. My grandfather, oh sorry, and he says this. So you ready? This is what the guy says to his girlfriend. And also, I don't think that's how you want to spend your first date, but okay. My grandfather told me it wasn't always there. There was a village instead. And then one day a guy who was traveling in some other country came home. The village was gone and the mountain was there. So Methuselah's first feat in the Monsterverse history is that it pretty much just laid down on the city. It pretty much crushed a whole village just by, like, just laying down. It's kind of a, kind of a dick move when you think about it, but, okay. 
And God, now, let's go to what it did in Godzilla King of the Monsters. Godzilla King of the Monsters, Methuselah was in slumber in Germany, but was awoken by my magnificent call, of course. Was also awoken many other tie-ins around the world. I'll be doing a video on that. Methuselah erupted from the underground mountain above him, being revealed to actually be part of his body. So, Methuselah is actually probably the biggest monster in the monster world. Probably over, well, 600, and if we count the mountain, probably an added, well, 100 feet. Probably like 700 feet on top of that. So, pretty big and submissive to me. Well, I, I, I'm proud of myself. Like the other Titans, Methuselah rampaged through populated areas, tearing through structures with his horns. Eventually, he made his way through way to Boston, along with Skeela and Behemoth and the Six-Legged Muto, which actually is pretty weird. Did all the Mutos have six legs, or just him? They found me slain at the feet of Godzilla. And like as usual, Rodan tried to challenge Godzilla and was ultimately intimidated by his gaze, only ultimately submitted to Godzilla, and the others followed suit and bowed to Godzilla as the king of the monsters. Damn, that's kind of just, just a jerk. Jerk move, Godzilla, you just gonna take all the credit for all I did. Such a jerk. Such an absolute ass. But, let's talk about Methuselah real quick. I'm really impressed what they did in this movie. Methuselah's, Methuselah's design was off the charts. I absolutely loved it. I was thrilled about it. I was, it was exquisite. It was great in taste. It was fruitful. It was lucrative. I mean, seriously. I mean, wow. It, it was just, it was just it was just amazing. That's how I can really say it. It was amazing. Now, how would I handle the kaiju in the movie? Well, I would have gave it a full body look. I would actually give it like maybe maybe like ten minutes so we could at least get like a good look. Maybe just I matter of fact, I really would have done this for all the monsters. Give them like ten minutes of screen time. Each of them just rampaging, killing humans, eating humans. Because you know we gotta kill some humans in this movie. I mean, shoot, they killed a child in the movie. That was probably like not trying to say this, but that was like. The best and boldest part of the movie. Like, thank you. You guys aren't afraid to kill children. Because if you guys watched Jurassic Park, how many children have died? I dare say one. Bet y'all can't even name one in Jurassic Park that hasn't even died. I really hate that, to be honest. But I digress. Now, Methuselah definitely would have been my biggest focus in the movie. I would have gave him the first ten minutes. He would have been the first one that we've seen in the first one to pretty much rise up and then you know fast forward I would have showed every other kaiju including the ones we haven't seen well because this movie definitely could have been longer and I think we all wanted to see the kaiju right so Methuselah definitely would be my biggest focus and then when Godzilla pretty much just destroys me sort of Kind of, sort of, still alive, and credit scene, suckers. Anyway, when, uh, I would emphasize that Methuselah is bigger than Godzilla and Ghidorah. Like, I would have showed Methuselah just walking up to Godzilla, this massive titan, massive than all the others, just bowing to Godzilla. Now, I mean, that would have been probably, like, the best scene in the whole movie. You see that massive thing walking up, you look like, yo. Godzilla, that thing, that thing looks like he could turn you inside out. Make you look like, you look like a chunk. You look like an ant compared to him. Dang. I will see Methuselah is probably about 700 feet. It doesn't give the official size on the Monarch page. Only has species, which is Titanus Methuselah, and the location. That's about it, and who it was led by, me and eventually Godzilla. Now, what happens to, to him in the end? We don't know. Needless to say that, well, pretty much, it just, it just disappears. Probably out helping the world best it can and converging on Skull Island. Which means this thing might fight Kong or 
might just help out, help Kong out with the skull crawlers. So, at the end of the day, Methuselah is another kaiju that was spectacular to see. Wish it could have been done with, wish it could have been handled better and done more with. So, I'll be giving you guys more videos on the rest of these titans. The next one I am bringing up is Skeela. Hope you guys enjoy. Comment down below. Please like and subscribe and share with your friends. Season 2 is on and popping. Hope you guys stay tuned. Alright, bye.